Good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel Life of Deja. Today is May 1st. It's 12.36 p.m. I just want to check and say hey. It's been a few days since I've seen y'all so how y'all doing? <laughs> um, today I'm just going to run a quick errand. I'm going to go up the street, run to Dollar Tree and probably Walgreens. I just want to get some cleanest products to like clean my bathroom and stuff because I have news. I don't think I have officially told you guys yet um, because last time I talked about it, it was unofficial, but it's official now. <sighs> My sister's moving to Texas, so yay. I'm super happy about that. Um, and she is going to be staying with me for a, a little bit um until she you know gets her place so i'm trying to get myself together because she'll be here on sunday today is wednesday luckily my place is clean like there's countertops living room everything is clean um i do have like fresh sheets in my bed but of course i'm gonna change my sheets again this weekend but yeah i want to do like a really nice deep thorough clean of black like, my bathroom my shower um, and stuff like that so that way it's we're starting off fresh super super fresh so i want to go get that stuff today i may or may not clean the shower in my bathroom today i might do that tomorrow because i clean my shower like thursday i clean my bathroom like thursday and it's wednesday so it's been a week so it's about time but um i may or may not do it today i don't know but yeah so I'm going to the store to get some cleaning products. I'll probably just go to Walgreens to get that. And then I'm going to go to Dollar Tree to grab just a few other things. And then I'm coming back home. That's it. That's all of my plan for today. I'm just going to chill and probably watch some movies. I'm trying to enjoy my time alone because, I don't know, I feel like... You know how something is like, I appreciate my apartment. I've always appreciated like my time and my space alone. But I feel like you really don't appreciate something alone until you about to lose it or you lose it. So my friend was like, you over there mourning your um your your aloneness, like your 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 soulness in your apartment. And I was like, dang girl, maybe you're right. Maybe that's why I'm just like, I just kinda wanna chill in the house alone and watch a movie instead of our usual, which is we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna do this and we're gonna go all of these stores and apartment updates and da 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 da. This week I've just been like, let's chill. Let's sit on the couch and watch movies. Let's blah, blah, blah. So I think in a way I'm mourning like she said, I think she was on to something. Like, I'm mourning my having my apartment to myself. I don't know. But I am super excited for my sister coming. I'm super happy for this journey that's coming for her. But I don't know. I've just had my own space for so long. And I had to fight so hard, like, in the beginning, like, back in Virginia, to get my own space. I feel like, yeah, I'm a little scared. I don't know. I'm a little nervous or something. I don't know. I know everything's going to go smoothly. I know there's not going to be any issues or anything like that. But it's just, you know, you miss. I'm I'm mourning my solitude. I'm mourning my solitude. Which is funny because my agenda lately has been, let's get out. Let's meet people. Let's da 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 But now that it's official, I don't know. I'm missing my solitude. I'm, I'm mourning my solitude. I just want to enjoy my last few moments. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so weird. Like... Can, do you relate? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I friend when my I feel I felt when my friend said that. Like, I was like, oh my god, she's like that's it. I haven't been able to like place the feeling or say exactly what it is, but I just want to be in my apartment and just do nothing essentially. I don't know, but yeah, let me know if y'all can relate or if I'm just tripping. My friend agreed with me, so I, at least I got her. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting to share a space with my sister. I haven't lived with her since high school when she moved out. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But it's only temporary just for a little bit until she um, figures out where she wants to stay and, you know, signs her lease and everything like that. But yeah. So unfortunately, some apartment updates might be slowed down this is honestly why i said my bedroom i'm gonna hold off on it because at the time it wasn't official as to whether or not she was coming 
and staying with me but now it's official so all the things that i want to do for my bedroom which i have some stuff in my cart i'm gonna wait to order it because i don't need to order it and then just have it sitting somewhere because it's already i feel like it's gonna be tight with her bringing some stuff like her clothes and stuff like that so it's like we'll need to do that but um yeah i'm excited for the bedroom i have a lot of good things in mind i have one thing that I'm super excited for, but I don't know how it's gonna look, but we'll get into the bedroom when that time comes. But yeah, basically the bedroom is put on hold until after, you know, she leaves. Cause I just wanna start fresh then. I mean, I could do it now, but I just feel like with the things that I wanna do, let's just wait. Also y'all, let me give you a little update on something in my bedroom. Let me know what you notice is missing. Do y'all see anything missing in this, this corner over there? Anything striking y'all as absent? Hmm. Uh, what? Where the curtains? Where they at? Not one hook on the wall and the other two are missing. Where are the curtains? Oh, easy. They on the floor. They fell. <laughs> so when they said it's not built for textured walls, they meant it wasn't built for textured walls. Um, but if you guys have gotten them and you tried them and it's working out in your favor, happy for you. Mine's fell. <laughs> so I gotta figure out how to put those curtains up, but I'm not worried about it right now. My camera's dying, so let's hurry up and go to the store and we'll get into like the whole moving and apartment updates thing when i get back oh and y'all for sure for sure have to tint my eyebrows because they are barely there so we're gonna do that today as well but yeah let's go and go to the store but i got a little second win in my camera but yeah so a bedroom is placed on hold until after my sister has left but I am still working on bar stools. The bar stools that I found and I said I'd like and I think I'm gonna order, why do they say unavailable on Amazon now? And I'm trying to find them in other places like Wayfair, like Overstock, like Home Good. Like I'm trying to find them anywhere I can think of that might have them like Bed Bath and Beyond. And I cannot find these bar stools and they say unavailable on Amazon. I'm like, what are the chances? I finally found some bar stools that I think I'm okay with and they're unavailable now. So anyway. But that's my next feat. And then I honestly don't know what else I would do in here besides the bar stools. Um, you know what? While my sister's here, I think I'll do the bar stools, move the mirror, get the plant for the side wall. Because I did hear somebody, I think only one person actually commented on it. It was like, I think it's going to be cute. So I'm going to rock with you, girl. Thank you for that. And we're going to try it out. I'm going to move the mirror, try to get like a tall vase with some grass or pompous grass or something like that and see how i feel about it and then um start working on the bar cart the bar cart was supposed to come after the bedroom but the timeline of things is getting switched up <laughs> and then i think i might just flow into the kitchen and then you know by the time we get the bar cart together together we probably should be ready to go into the bedroom but if not we'll flow into the kitchen and bathroom so Let's go to the store. Hmm. It'll be cute. Bye. Oh y'all, I hope it don't rain on me. What are the chances? Please say hello. <laughs> on morning side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the fans can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go strap for just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around at Soto with Nuff Man, baby, you love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and I write shoe love, but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, think about entry, know you could tell it's a decent size. You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chels has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. Cause we know some demon guys who tell us in evil eyes.
You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice You never get treated nice, fool you once, that's fine But you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice 200 mil on the table, I hope I'm able to get this agreement signed Told you I needed time, but really the truth is I don't believe in time Feel like I've been here over a thousand years, like since the medieval times And I'm still just a putt though king, even though this is recent times A man like that that we're beefing with, but we don't do grieving time Fuck teasing time, if I come inside this breathing time So much for idols, KMT with a high roll Knew that I made it when I had drivers Holding my last name up in arrivals Sench my knee vaccine when he see how this bitch are going viral If leaders dead and the masses dead with grains in there like silos Y'all, now me in here cleaning out my refrigerator And just now learning how to work this shelf Like, I always like, I had to move I don't know if you remember, this shelf was here because like sometimes stuff is too tall to go here and like too tall to go on the doors or the doors are full. So I would move this shelf up. But y'all, why did I just learn that? I always wonder why this was split in two. I was like, maybe it was supposed to be a drawer and it's not a drawer. And honestly, it could still be the fact that maybe it was supposed to be a drawer and it's not a drawer, but look, I just now realized that. I don't think this is supposed to be a drawer, but I don't know if it's supposed to be a drawer, but do you see like, and now it opens up spot so that you have all of this to put something tall. And it's just as simple as like moving that shelf. Why am I so fascinated by this? Why am I just now figuring out this is how this does? And it's because I took it out to clean it and <clears throat> it was a little loose and I was like, why is it so loose? And it turns out because it's a whole like, shelf for you to be able to move it like if something's in there like if you need something tall to go in your refrigerator like and it doesn't look like anything could attach under it for it to be a drawer so i think they just was innovative and put a shelf there so that you know regular i just got to figure out how to do it one hand do you put okay you push down, okay. So, regular, and then extendo deck. Why am I so fascinated by this? Anyway, fridge is clean. Now time to go get groceries. Okay y'all, so I'm back from the store. Just got my Kroger order. I spent $129. Okay, y'all, I'm back from the store. I went to Kroger to do my grocery pickup, and then I ran, ran inside to get some sushi, but on groceries, I spent $129.17. Let's lay out everything. I will say, I think I'm missing my eggs because I did not see those when I was taking my groceries out the trunk to bring them in the house. So let's unpack it. And surprise, not surprise, guess what I'm back on? My yogurt kick. It's been a while since I had yogurt, but I got a lot of different types of yogurt. Um, but I'm excited to be back on my yogurt kick. Got a couple of different flavors, some cream cheese and stuff like that, but this whole bag is, is yogurt. Y'all yeah, know I like to do one yogurt a day, and it's been a while, so I felt like, I don't know, let's get them, I guess. <laughs> Surprisingly, they're unscathed, even though they was in a bag. <laughs> they still, they still egging, so that's all I can ask for, to not be crushed. Buried in a bag under my unwrapped produce. It's cool. It is cool.
See, I don't like that produce. I don't like that. I didn't, um, I try to not go, I try to not go to him and on the groceries because my sister will be here on Sunday and I felt like we'll probably just go grocery shopping together um, and get some stuff then. But I just kind of wanted to have some stuff in the house for now and then I just kind of wanted to have some stuff in the house for now and then like also when she she's here that way if we don't go grocery shopping day one when she gets here which I don't think we will that I'll at least have stuff in the house to get us through like the first week of like work and stuff like that so yeah I don't know why I feel like it's been a while since I went to the grocery store and grocery shop I didn't go inside. Y'all know I didn't go inside. Y'all know I picked up, but I feel like it's been a while. I don't know. Since I bought groceries, I don't know what that's about. I think it's a mental thing. Oh, did I order unsweet almond milk or did they give me unsweet almond milk? I must know. Okay, I know this was a small grocery order because it took me no time to take that stuff out of the bags. Like, I've only been recording for six minutes and that's including me talking and the stuff is out of the bag. Like, so let's go through and do everything again. This is like a smaller, hold on. But again, this is like a smaller order because I didn't want to go too crazy, but I did want to have some stuff in the fridge, in the cabinets when my sister came, but let's do it. Quick little haul. So I got some, so a quick little haul. I got some great tomatoes. I got some bagels, some salted butter. Always got to buy butter. I feel like I'm always running out of butter, but I don't use butter that often. It's crazy. Just some cheddar cheese. I tried to get re reduced fat, but they didn't have any. Some cheese sticks, mozzarella, Italian cheese as well. Some green peppers, but I don't like, I don't really like when they be picking my produce. We're gonna have to, we gonna have to see about that one. <laughs> some carrots. I re-upped on my yogurt. I'm trying to get back into my yogurt kick, my yogurt bag, but I got mostly flip cups. No, got a good mix. The chocolate haze craze, mixed berry, um, almond cocoa loco, strawberry, the chocolate, the cookie dough. I got some cream cheese, some honey pecan, and some strawberry to go with those bagels. I did get me some of these Ocos Zero, Triple Zero yogurts because they have 15 grams of protein. Um, you know, for me and my sister, she hates that I eat these and she wants me to eat something like this, especially if I'm working out and stuff. So kind of try to get a little, be like, you know, I know I got some bad yogurts, but I got some good yogurts. <laughs> I got some Ritz crackers, just the wheat fine kind, cause I'm gonna make some tuna. Got me some Mrs. Dash, the Southwest Chipotle. It's a really good one. And just some Italian seasoning, a cucumber, some eggs, um, cucumber, some eggs, and then a spaghetti packet, two actually. Oh, okay, Mrs. Dash. She wanted to be on the floor. Um, I don't know if I said carrots, but, and then a chili one. I wanted to get like hot or mild, but I just grabbed this one, or I just put this one in my car because I ain't feel like searching no more. Two packs of this baby spring mix salad some coconut milk some spaghetti sauce some salad dressing this is the skinny girl balsamic vinaigrette it's five calories 
and like a tablespoon so it's really good um some oreos gotta have something sweet just some bags of broccoli that were on sale some olive oil i got some caesar dressing as well <laughs> apparently unsweet almond milk i gotta look into that because i'm pretty sure i ordered sweet um some mixed vegetables the frozen kind some fries and then a uh, cran grape juice and my favorite white cranberry strawberry juice and the only other thing i got with all of that was a 40 count case of water and then this is the sushi that i got you probably not even gonna be able to see but it was 21 dollars and it has quite a few different rolls. This is breakfast, dinner, because why? It is 5.03 p.m. And I have not eaten a single thing. So let's put the groceries away and then I'm gonna eat my sushi and edit because that's important. This should go quick too, right? And the fridge is all clean. But like I heard a fly buzz and I ain't like that. I ain't like that at all. It ain't dark right now. Feel lost but I like it. Comfort in my sense and all about me. All I got right now. Feel a taste of resentment. Some more in my skin. It's all about me. Feel a stain on my shirt. New bitch on my nerves. Old nigga got curved. Going back on my word. Damn bitch is the third. YouTube and welcome back to my channel life of Deja today is May 5th 2024 it is my brother's birthday so happy birthday Ugh. happy birthday to my brother um, today is also the day that my sister flies in from Virginia um, and it is almost 10 10 o'clock in the morning a um, couple of things one I haven't been asleep since yesterday I didn't yesterday I woke up at like 7 a.m 8 a.m just couldn't get back to sleep had to go to work I didn't get home from work until almost 6 a.m and my sister flight comes in at 10 and I needed to edit and I needed to like clean my bathroom because I procrastinated and doing that and I wanted to like sweep them off the floors, like trying to kind of like start off with a clean base, you know. So I was like, oh, we're gonna have to stay up and clean. Alexa, dismiss. So yeah, I was like, I might as well just stay up and clean. And then hopefully if you get everything done in time, you can go to sleep. By the time I got everything done, I was like, what's the point of trying to take an hour, 15 hour nap? You might as well just not because you're going to be more tired than you would be if you just stay up. So that's what I did. Um, however, I did not edit at all in that time. Um, all of that time was spent cleaning. I did take like a 20, 30 minute break and I started to doze off. And I was like, you got to get up. So, yeah. I came home for work. I got in the shower. And I started, you know, just straightening up, doing my laundry, trying to make sure, you know, cleaning out one side of my bed that I was supposed to do, but I didn't, like the storage benches so that she would have somewhere to put her stuff. I'm recording on my phone because my camera, the SD card wasn't in there because it's in my laptop bag because I was supposed to edit today when I had some free time or yesterday when I had some free time but I didn't so yeah so unfortunately I will be missing my upload day today which will be May 5th Sunday I'll be unfortunately missing my upload day so I'm hoping to 
get some rest and get the video posted by the end of tonight. But me trying to be realistic is knowing the video is probably not going to get posted until tomorrow, which will be Monday, May 6th, which is fine. I've been so consistent, so on schedule since November. So it hurts me to, to you know, mess up and miss a Sunday. But, you know, it's okay. Get it up as soon as I can and it'll still be perfectly fine. Um, so I'll definitely link that video up above if it's not a part of this video. Um, it shouldn't be. This shouldn't be a part of that video. But yeah, I'll link that video up above. But um, yeah, so it's storming crazy, crazy, crazy hard. We've been going through some crazy rain, crazy flooding here in Houston. So yeah, but my sister's plane should be about getting in. I think she said it was like a 15 minute delay. I think she was supposed to get in at 10, 10, 15. Now she's not gonna get in until 10, 30 and the airport is not far at all from my house. So I really don't need to rush to leave. Um. I just threw on some clothes because again, it's so rainy and wet outside. I'm praying that she has safe travels um, because I can only imagine how scary it is to be up in the plane right now with the storm the way it is. And I don't know about y'all, but I feel like when you in, like people in Houston, when it thunders here, I feel like it is so loud. Like I feel like it is right literally outside my window, like God doing his work right above me. Like that's. You remember when we was younger, when it was thundering and lightning, your grandparents used to be like, turn off all the lights, no electronics, God's doing his work. My grandma used to do that. Um, I probably, I'm pretty sure she still does that. <laughs> but yeah, that is all. I don't have nothing else to say. I think I'm very much sleep deprived, so my brain not braining, but I know I wanted to come up here and say good morning and say I'm about to go pick my sister up from the airport and put some earrings in my head, head. put some earrings in my ear um, and I just thought about something. Oh, I want to take my hair out tomorrow because I'm tired of this. I found somebody to braid my hair. I'm about to get me some Alanti braids, I think is what they're called. I'm excited. But I gotta figure out what my off day is so that I can book the appointment. So I gotta check my work schedule. But yeah. All right, y'all. That's all I had to say. Sorry if I'm like super zoomed in. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, like the lens. It's because I'm recording on my phone and And just mentally and as you can see i did not get my bar stools my goal was to get them before my sister came but i cannot find them in stock on amazon i checked everywhere else i just don't know i'm rambling so let me go because y'all know how i get when i'm tired and i start rambling so i will see y'all hopefully at the airport maybe not at the airport maybe just later on in the day um maybe tomorrow who knows but today is Cinco de Mayo, so maybe we'll go get a drink or something, but also I think I need to sleep, so we'll see what happens. Bye. Bye. Let me, I'm, 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 I'm signing off because, mm-mm. I'm on his side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the fans can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go strapped for just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around at Soto with Nuff Man, baby, you love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and I write true love, but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seen you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, think about entry, no, you could tell it's a decent size. You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chelsea has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. 
Cause we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice You never get treated nice, fool you once, that's fine But you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice